Isaac Newton and Gottfried Leibniz, two brilliant minds, one revolutionary discovery, and a whole lot of drama. Newton, the mastermind behind the laws of motion and gravitation, also had a hidden talent, inventing calculus on the side. Meanwhile, Leibniz was busy brewing his own version of calculus with a notation system so elegant it would make a poet swoon. And so, the race for the title of Calculus King began. Both mathematicians claimed to be first, but who really won? Newton published his work in 1687, while Leibniz's in 1684. This sparked a priority dispute, with each mathematician trying to prove that their work was original. Newton's notation was more complicated and abstract, while Leibniz's was simpler and easier to understand. Their different philosophical viewpoints also affected their approach to calculus. The Royal Society of London tried to settle the score, but all they did was add fuel to the fire, in the end, they declared Newton the winner. Despite the drama, both mathematicians are remembered for their contributions to calculus. Calculus revolutionized the way we think about rates of change and opened up new avenues for scientific inquiry.